Alright, so I'm back with another video again. This time I want to show a level up guide, the quickest way of how to do it. So before I actually um, pick a carriage and all that, um, what you should definitely do is go to options, game settings, and right now you can see that it's highlighted on easy. So don't put it on easy put it on chaos because your experience point you know you you be leveling leveling up faster and of course with the um, chapter I'm going to pick so go to free mode now for free mode um, I had to think about who I may want to do as an um, example so for some reason, I just said, screw it, let's go with Wanjong because since what what we're going to end up doing is like sniping, you know, firing arrows at bandits. So I feel like he's the best character to do it. Youth, I make up for so go to the final chapter. Um, you, um, usually I will pick... You can pick either Shu or Jen, but for for t particular reason, I'll just pick Jen. While this screen is loading, I'm hoping everyone is having a, a nice day, nice weekend, and all that. Knowing me, I'm trying to survive as usual, get myself together, etc. So we're gonna skip this. Now, once this screen you know, her hurries up. Wound. Come on, come on. Lord you Okay. a thousand years all right so as you can tell Wanjong is level one and he got his um, cutlass weapon so let me upgrade that real quick now for accessories what you can do is um, get the fine wolf belt um, you can get it through the store mm, not just you can get it through the coin collector, which is uh, really simple to get through the market. Um, so you can like if you can buy more than one, of course. So what I'm gonna do is get all three. So for me, I'm gonna put like th three of them because that's all I have at the moment. And gold crown because once I finish. Once I, you know, snipe the bandits, that's when it will come. The eyes will come to you automatically. All right, so yeah, um, so pretty much right here, the tea house master. So you go over here. You, of course, before we go to the, the um, tea house master, we go to the coin collector, so that you can get an idea here. where the you know the Astro Experience um, accessory is that. So go under Yibi Quinn and look for fine fine wolf belt, and it costs 100. And all you have to do is just you know buy it and equip like all four, or you can do like I said, or you can do what I did, was just equip three and then just have your you know your items 
in that um in that accessory when you have the items come to you. So pretty much right there. So so if you get a chance, just click on that. I appreciate your business. Now for the T House Master. Now this is the one you really should pay attention to. What can I get? The for first you? part of the cooking is roasted vegetables and if you look at the bottom it says a variety of roasted vegetables increase the experience you earn for a long period of time so while we doing the sniping and all of course you would I would definitely recommend you using that please come again so now let me make this quick now the area where we can do the sniping is over this area right here. So if you say, let's say if you haven't, it's you know gone over this area yet, I highly recommend that you do it. It's real easy and simple. Now there is a wave point. Yeah, there. Well, wave mark really, but you don't want to pay attention to that you want to pay attention to the scenery mark right here which is the great wall make sure you unlock that because it will be definitely helpful for fast travel so I'll be heading over there right now As you see, as you can see right now, we are on the Great Wall of China. Okay, let me. All right. So now, since this is on Chaos and this is a level one Wan Shan, when you doing this, you know, take your horse with you, or you know, run run around a bit, see if you can find any bandits, and if you come up one, oh yeah, dude, just um. Snipe, you know, make your mark, snipe, and then bam, you level up. Alright, so we just found our first bandits. And of course, after you snipe them, you get um, your experience. You level up and also like the items come to you as well now now look at this you see the bandit chief of course you pretty much like that <laughs> now at some point while you are you know sniping them with the bow and arrow at some point you would get Bandages on um, blocking your attacks. So what you want to do if they start um, blocking your arrows, you get out, get out of the you know the bow, and just yeah, you know, just roll back, and then come on back real close, and then you'll see them appear on the screen again. Sometimes the game can be a little glitchy with his um, with the arrows and also I guess the troops also. So that's really hard. So if you experience something like that, you can either roll back and try again, or just like just go straight for the bandit chief and just kill, you know, just kill him. So like I said, just run around, look for bandit chiefs, snipe them, and you'll be fine. Just like that. So I'll be back with the video 
I'll be back and I said that you'll see the difference in his level in Wanjong's level so so stay tuned for a bit Alright, so after some time, maybe like 15, 20 minutes, I believe, I'm at. Uh, let me try to um, go to. Yeah, it was a little bit hard to see the screens. I apologize. So, it's like after our last encounter. Pretty much somewhere between 15, 20, 25 minutes, somewhere around there. I'm at level 68 with Wan Zhang. So, pretty much it is an easy trick to do. Um, like I said, it's definitely easy to do. Um, while you doing the sniping, at some point, this is, if there's a chance that you get uh, discovered by the bandit chief, do not go and fight them. Just, you know, get on your horse and run away and find the next bandit, you know, group of bandits or just a bandit leader, either one, and just, you know, snipe them with the normal arrows. I really recommend using the normal ar um, arrows because the fire and poison is really not necessary, especially the multi multiple fire arrows and poison. And regular, multiple regular arrows is not really necessary um, because pretty much your normal arrows are infinite wise, so it's no point using the astral one. Now, if you want to, that's up to you. Um, is if there's any more questions, if you got you know something you want to add down in the comments below, I really appreciate it. Um, so. I hope you find this level up guide, this quickest way level up guide, really helpful. So, again, thank you. If you enjoyed it, I hope you like, comment, and also subscribe to the channel. And make sure to be look out for more, more videos of Dynasty Warriors 9. So, until next time, have a good one.